For over two weeks now, I've been testing out one of the best AI video generators that's currently out there. With just one prompt, it does the entire process of creating your video. So from script writing to generating consistent characters to making the scenes for all of your videos and then to also combining everything and animating it with AI. Trust me, if you do this yourself, it will take you hours and hours of your time. The tool that I'm talking about is called LTX Studio and here's an example of what I made. Mars, a harsh and unforgiving world. Our colony faced its greatest challenge when a meteor rain struck, threatening our very existence. I knew I had to act, but the nature tested me once more. I fought against time and nature to secure the resources we needed to restore our greenhouses. Let's just dive straight in and let me show you how you can create something like that. So here we have LTX Studio. What we can do here is we can create a story from a prompt or we can visualize our concept. So if you already have a story in mind, then this is mostly for filmmakers. Then you can input your ID right there and then it will help you generate a story with AI. Now, let's just start with a prompt here. You can write out your ID. So I already have one of my IDs right here and now we're going to hit next. Then what it does, it comes up with entire characters for you. So I just gave it the name Max and now it comes up with the name Max Johnson. And then what we can do here is we can change the aspect ratio if we'd like. So you can make it also for Instagram or you can also make a reel out of it. Then for the video style, we have so many different styles that we can choose from. So you can go from cinematic to like a comic book. Let me just generate that for you. But also you can do anything else like a fantasy art, 3D model, origami, cyberpunk. This one will look also pretty cool and it will just regenerate while you're showcasing it. So basically there's so many different styles that you can go for. There are so many different levers you can pull to make your video the best as possible. I'm gonna go with futuristic and the great thing what I love about this is you can add like characters to your list. So I have now one character in my video and you can have multiple characters and they will remain consistent. If you click on edit, then you can change their name. You can change their age. So let's say for example, I do a guy that's 50 years old. Then it will also change the look of this person. You can even change their clothing. Now you can also choose their voiceover. So let's have a list to this. I'd rather regret the things that I have done than the things that I... A man is not all... As an organizer, I start from... Sounds pretty good, but I'm going for the Josh voice. So now we hit apply. And then once your prompt is ready, you can click on start. Our story is now ready and this is what it comes up with. So we have scene number one, a wide shot of a desolate Martian landscape. Then we have a voiceover with Mars, a harsh and unforgiving world. So all in all, that sounds pretty cool already. And then we have these two images. And then once you think these images look good, then you can generate the video, but I will do that later. So then we have scene number two. So our colonists huddle in the damaged greenhouses amidst meteor showers. Just take a look at these images. Like it looks so cool to me that just from one short prompt, like literally less than 100 words, it has made an entire scene with multiple different images, with a storyline, with voiceovers, with sound effects, and even like it has some cool looking story to it. So like I knew I had to act, it says here. Then we have the next storyline, like venturing into the treacherous terrain, I fought against time and nature to secure the resources we needed. So it becomes like a cool action model shot. I actually changed the shot type, but I will show how that works later. It almost becomes like a superhero story that I can just create in like less than five minutes. Now, let me actually show you what else you can do with this. So here we can change the shot types. You can go from a close up to an extreme close up, medium shot, wide shot, from below, above, bird's eye view, you can do all of that. So maybe this one will be cool if we do like a bird's eye view. So there we are, here's our bird eye view, kind of like a drone view, if you would say. Then take a look at this. We can also add in our character. If we type in an ad, then we can select our character and then our character will be in the shot. Now, if you're not happy with the way your character looks, you can once again change it. You can even like face swap him. So you can import your own face, which I will show later which I've done all as well. If the shot doesn't look quite as good as you're hoping to, then you can go to the shot editor and here you can change the frame. So you can change the prompt of this. So I've changed the prompt to a vast margin landscape. And then you can also change it with like a negative prompt. So anything that you don't want to have in there, then you can do a scene override. Then you can change the lighting, the weather. You can add everything in there. You can also change the motion. So 
you want to have like minimal camera motion then you do scene if you want to have natural then it's more balanced and then if you want to go extreme speaks for itself it will be more extreme now you can also do it custom this is a bit more advanced so you can make it more custom to your needs now i'm gonna like to keep it natural i'm just gonna keep it like this change the duration if you want to and then you hit generate video here we have four different versions i like this one the most i think or this one so let's click on generate and now this video will be generated now we go back to the storyboard and we can do this for each individual shoot also let's say if you want to change the scene you can just drag it from here and move it around in your timeline now, i'd like to keep this as one well because i think the storyline is already pretty good but you can change the voiceover you can change the sounds of each scene you can even add in an extra shot if you'd like to and then once you're ready you have to generate all the videos but first let's go through all of the scenes to see if it looks good for example right here i think it made an error we see clearly that he is in a city now let's edit the prompt a little bit and we say he's on mars so now i fixed it to something else that i think looks a little bit better and you do this for all of your shots and then once you're ready you can export it now before we do that i urge you to check out the soundtrack because the soundtrack might be copyright now what you can do instead is you can upload your own soundtracks from like artlist epidemic sound or wherever you get your soundtracks from now once you're ready you can preview it or you can click on export then you have to generate all the static shots so let me just generate them and now it will generate these 18 shots for me this usually takes a minute or two and then what you can do is you can export it as a pitch deck so that's great for if you are an artist or a filmmaker and you want to pitch your video to others or you can just do it as a video but you can also export it straight to premiere and that is pretty cool to me that you can edit even further in adobe premiere or davinci resolve here's a preview of the video i just made after that i will showcase you two or three more different projects that you can make with this mars a harsh and unforgiving world our colony faced its greatest challenge when a meteor rain struck, threatening our very existence. I knew I had to act, but the nature tested me once more. I fought against time and nature to secure the resources we needed to restore our greenhouses. As I returned, hope ignited once more. Our greenhouses restored, our community thrives. I stand as a testament to our resilience. A reminder that humanity's spirit cannot be broken, even on the red planet. So that was pretty cool, but keep in mind that's not the only style that you can do. There I had like a futuristic style. Here, let's take a look at this. I cloned myself, so I literally used me in the cast and I switched my face. And take a look at this, literally my face is being used here. So you can see it in the character, it's being used here, it's being used here as well. And on all these scenes, it's pretty much being used. Now, I also have created a few other projects. So here I have one that is a comic book. So this style also works really good. I would say if you're using this, then keep the motion of your video to like minimum, to like scene maybe. Then this way you don't have these weird glitches with like hands or with hair or eyes or anything like that. It will just change something by a little bit. And with comic, for example, this will work very good. So yeah, you can try out all of these different styles yourself. There's currently a waitlist going on for this tool. So if you want to try it out, you have to sign up through the waitlist. And then once you're in, you can try it out for free yourself. Now, if you want to see more videos where I test out AI tools, then check the video that's on the screen right now.